And here, brother and sister, Asa and Anjaha. So what is an Anjaha? Al-Mastar Mu'awal. Fi Mahali Rafain. File. Fi Mahali Rafain. You got to figure out. Fi Mahali Rafain and Fi Mahali Nasbin. Havil Asa and Nakisata illa Tamatin Fi Mahayati. Got it, brothers and sisters? Change Asa, Nakis, into Tam. Huh? Very good, brother, brother and sister. Asaita and Tauda Radan. First, let us translate it, brother. Asaita. It is hoped that you. Huh? It is hoped that you will return tomorrow. Huh? Brother, are you with me? It is hoped that you will return tomorrow. Huh? So what is uh, uh, ta doing here? Is a ismu asa. Okay. Got to remove it now. So what will be the sentence? Halwa puri, brother. Asa and tauda gadan. What will the translation? Same. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now look at this sentence. Asa Allahu an yaghfira li. Translation. It is hoped that Allah will forgive me. Got the idea? See, Alhamdulillah, we can translate with confidence now. Huh? Uh, sentences. Make it into uh, tam. Complete verb. Asa. Huh? And Yagafira Li Allahu. Khalas. Asa and Yagafira Li Allahu. That's all. Huh? Translation It is hoped that Allah will forgive me. Fine. Aina Zumalau. Na. Where are our friends? Huh? Where are they? Asaw. What is wow? <laughs> Not fine. Ismu asa, okay. And yahduru darsa. Translation, brother. It is hoped that they will attend the dars. Fine, brother and sister. Now, what will you say? Make it uh, into complete verb. We got to rem remove wow. What will you say? Asa and yahduru darsa. Khalas, brother. So easy, brother and sisters. Once we understand, then it becomes very easy. Kaifa talibatul jududu. Translation. How are the new female students? Okay. What is the answer? Asaina and yafhamna durusa. What is it, brother? Uh, it is hoped that they understand the lessons, huh? that they understand the lesson. Now, brother, asaina, what is that nunu niswa? Asam. So you got to remove it. Huh? So how will you remove it now? Asa and yafhamna durusa. That's all. This was very easy. Huh? And you got the meaning also. Huh? It is hoped that they, the new female students, understand the lessons. Fine, brother. How will Asat Tamma Ila Nakisa Himayati in what follows? Okay, brother and sister. Now you got to make it Nakis, brother. Here you got to be a little more careful. Asa An Nukbala Fi Dirasati Ulya. Brother, this is the Mwanas. What is it? This is the Mwanas of Al Ala. The? Yeah, it is a Nath, sister. Huh? Higher studies. What is it? Higher studies. Huh? So, what is the masculine of Ulya? Ala. Al Ala. Actually, this is Ismu Tafdil. 
What is it, brothers and sisters? Ismu takfidil. Ala. And this is muzakkar. What is muannas, brothers and sisters? al ulya al Just like brother Akbaru, what is the monas of Akbaru? Kubra, huh? Ulya, Kubra, huh? Asgaru, Sogra. Are you with me? Same way, this is Al A'la, it's Ulya. Asa an Nukbala Fiddera Satil Ulya. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, Dera Satil Ulya means higher studies, postgraduate. What is it? Postgraduate. What is the meaning of it, brother? It is hoped that we are accepted. Huh? Okay? Nukbal is Majhul, brother. Fine, brothers and sisters. Now, remember Nukbal. Yeah, so Asaina, because that will change to Asaina, huh? because we are talking about us. So what will you say, brother and sister? Asaina and Nukbala, same sentence, khalas. All you have to do is instead of Asa, you will say Asaina. Got the idea, brother and sisters? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Next one, brother and sisters. Asa and Tusa. Tusafiri kadan. See, tusafiri mean. Analyze tusafiri. Fe'alun, mudahariun, mansubun, wa alamatu nasbihi, asbinun. So what is it? Tusafirina. Are you with me, brother? Safara yusafiru. Yusafiru tusafiru. And then tusafiru, tusafirani, tusafiruna, and then Tusafi Rina. So an has come, you will make it into an tusafi ri. Huh? Fine, brother. So we are talking to a lady. So what will you say now? Asaiti. What will you say? Asaiti and tusafi ri kadan. It is hoped that you will travel tomorrow. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Now, this is little tricky, but, but very interesting. Asa an yasmaha lana al-mudiru bilin sirafi. Translation, brother. It is hoped that the mudir will permit us to go. Are you with me? In siraf means zahab, going. Now, what will you say? How will you make it uh, incomplete? Asa. Al Mudiru Khalas. Just bring the Mudir after Asa and your job is done. Nothing else has to be changed. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Tell me, is it difficult? No, it's easy, inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Very beautiful sentence. Asa and Yatahid al Muslimun. Translation, brothers and sisters. It is hoped that the Muslims will unite. Uh, are you with me? And they will unite. Now, change it, brother. Asa al Muslimuna an. Tell me loudly, I want to hear an. Ah, mashallah. <laughs> See, now we have to mash the verb with Muslimuna. What will you say? An yattahidu. What will you say? An yattahidu. Huh? Okay. Got the idea? Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, what is next? That's it. Now you got to put asa uh, in a sentence, okay, from your own composition. Make two sentences. One is incomplete, the other is complete. Uh, I give you a very simple sentence, brother. Uh, 
Uh, inshallah, you can also think about this. Asa, Asa, and Yagfir Ali, Allah. Translation, brother? It is hoped that Allah will forgive me. Uh, now, I want to make it into Nakis. Here I said Asa and Yadhafira Li. Now I, Allahu at the end. Now I have to make it into incomplete. What will I say? Asa Allahu and Yadhafira Li. Alas. What is the translation? Same. No change. Got the idea? You can make your own sentence, brothers and sisters. Anything you wish. Okay. Inshallah, you will be able to do it. Huh? Very good, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, the next one is number 9, section number 9, page 210. Fadhuku al-azaba, fadhuku al-azaba, bima kuntum takfurun. Hadihi ma al-masdariyatu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma al-masdariyatu. Now, if you find to understand ma al-masdariyatu, please don't worry. It will come gradually to us. Huh? But at least we know there is something called ma al mastariyatu. We call an mastariya. What is the meaning of an mastariya? Brother, an mastariya means there is an followed by fail mudariya mansub and it changes into master. It conveys the meaning of master. Are you with me? Same. Ma will be there. Followed by Fe'lun Mahdi or Fe'l Mudhariya and two together it will convey the meaning of Master. That is why it is called Ma Al Mastariya. At least we understand the meaning. What will be followed by Ma Mastariya? It can be Fe'lun Mahdin or it can be Fe'lun Mudhariya. Both can come. Okay, brother and sister. So here, Bima Kuntum, see it's Mahdi. Bima kuntum takfuruna. Okay. Brothers and sisters, I bi kaunikum takfuruna. That is the meaning. Kuntum change into kauni. What is kaunun? That's the master of kana. Okay. But you can write down one more, brothers and sisters, uh, word. You know, B has come with ma. So what is this B? This B, brother, which is Al-Ba'u, Tufidu, reason. What is it? It indicates Sabab. Uh, for your, for the reason of your being uh, unbelievers. Are you with me, brother and sisters? So you can write down next to it, this also, B Sababi. Uh, and what is this B? Al-Ba'u, Tufidu, Al-Ba'u Tufidu As-Sababiyata. Remember, I will write down, brother. Al-Ba'u Tufidu As-Sababi Tufidu As-Sababiyata. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. See, salatu. Now, if you see a sentence like this, Badama, and then followed by Madhya or Mudariya, you can be sure that it is Ma Mastariya. Inshallah. salatu. What will be the translation of this? Remove ma and make a master. Bada intihait salati. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Bada intihait salati. And you did write it down yesterday, all these things. 
No, this is very nice. Look at this. This is from Quran. لَهُمْ أَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ بِمَا نَسُوا يَوْمَ الْحِسَابِ What is the translation, brother? أَيْ لَهُمْ أَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ بِ نَسْيَانِهِمْ بِ نَسْيَانِهِمْ Now this is master, brother. What did it change? مَا نَسُوا Ma Nasu was changed into Nasiyani. Are you with me? Be Nasiyani, him, Yom al So, for them, there is a severe punishment for their forgetting the Yom al For their forgetting the Yom al Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, Be Ma Nasu changed into Be Nasiyanihim. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you will uh, try to read it and ponder over it, and you will, inshallah, get it. Okay. This will become only helpful and will become important to you if you are understanding or if you are trying to understand Quran word by word. And I said, before to you, brothers and sisters, we have Nurul Yaqeen eh, available, and it has all these things mentioned. So, if you are, if you happen to study Nurul Yaqeen, and if they come in front of you, or if you come across these things, at least you know that you have studied it, and you can revise it, and you will understand it, inshallah, fully. Okay. فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ اسْوَدَّتْ Which is actually فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ اسْوَدَّتْ وُجُوهُهُمْ أَكَفَرْتُمْ Remember, Amma has to have a jawab. Are you with me? This we studied yesterday and I said, What is missing? هُنَا جَوَابُ أَمَّا مَعْزُوفٌ وَتَقْدِيرُهُ فَالْجُكَالُ لَهُمْ it will be said to them. Huh? They will be told. Akafartum huh? imanikum. You disbelieved after you uh, entered into Islam and you had a faith and you still disbelieved. Okay. Number 11, brothers and sisters. Hati mudariya. Fakada, to lose. What is the mudariya? Uh, it is Bab Daraba. Yafkhidu. Oh, brother. Istaka. Yastaku. Bab. Form 8. Mashallah. Ma mana vajnatu. Wa ma jamuha. What is the meaning of vajnatu, brother? Khaddun. What is it, brother and sisters? What is the meaning of Vajanatum? Khaddun. Huh? Okay. What is the Jama? Bama Jama Uha. Vajanatun. Okay. Vajanatun. But you can spell it in two ways, brother and sister. Vajanatun. Or it can be Vajanatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. We finish the dars. We start. Now lesson number 25. Huh? We go straight. Where should we go now? Straight to verbs. Huh? We go straight to verbs. Brother, section 3. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? 
but maybe I should uh, make a chart here. They are the permanent resident. Huh? They have their permanent residency. Okay? In the verb. Means they are the root letters. Okay? Then we add, brothers and sisters. Whenever you see the verb beginning with ista, it is form ten. Right? Inshallah. Okay. What shall we call it? Bab huh? is Istakbala. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Istakbala. Then maybe we should go to section two and start from there. Min abwa bil fialis sulasil mazit babu istafaala zidat fi avalihi hamzatun wasinun wataun. Everything comes in the beginning. Nah, istakbala, istagfara, istamarra, istamarra. Now, brothers and sisters, the meaning of this bab, Sister Rabi, from form two onwards, the bab has some special characteristics. In each bab, you know, remember, we went through it. Besides other meanings, this bab signifies an element of seeking, eh? asking, seeking and asking. Eh? Okay, brothers and sisters. So if you say istagafara, you are seeking forgiveness. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You are seeking forgiveness. Here is uh, another verb. Hada. Yahdi. Huh? What is the meaning of Hada? He guided. Now bring that Hada into form 10. What will it happen now? Istahda means you are seeking guidance. You are seeking guidance. Are you with me? Here is a verb. Uh, taima. What is the meaning of Taima? He ate. Huh? Taima. He ate. Now bring it into form 10. Is that ama? Is that ama? What is the meaning of is that ama? You are asking for food. Huh? So seeking and asking are the two meanings in form 10. You will come across verbs which convey these meanings. Is huh? to receive. Yas takabilu. Istakbil Istikbalun. Next one, brothers and sisters. Istagfara Yastagfiru Istagfir and then Istigfarun. Fine. This is a nice verb, brother. Istadda. What is the meaning of Istadda? To get ready. Prepare yourself. Huh? Uh, ready yourself. Istadda, yasta, iddu, and then ista idda. Ista idda. 
then istiadadun, istiadadun, istiadadun. You break it now. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Istalka. Now, this is nakis, huh, brothers and sisters. What is the meaning of istalka? To lie down. Hmm? To recline. To lie on your, you know, back, okay? To recline, okay? Istalka, yastal, khi, which is actually yas, yastal, khi, you, yastal, khi, and then istal, khi, and now, sister Madina, istil, kaun, huh? which is actually, what is actually? Istil, ka, yun, huh? istil, ka, yun. Here is a nice word, brothers and sisters. Istaraha. Now, the, what are these, brother? Ajwaf. Uh, they are coming. Uh, Ajwaf are coming in the form 10. Uh, istaraha. Uh, yastarihu. Yastarihu. Istarih. Take rest. Uh, and what will be the master? Istirahatun. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? You got extra ta at the end. Fine, brother. Istakala, to resign. What is the meaning of istakala? To tender resignation. Istakala, to resign, to tender one's resignation. Yastakilu. Huh? Istakil and then istikalatun. Very good, brother. And another nice verb. Again, what is this? Ajwab. Istafada. Yastafidu. Huh? Istafid. Istafid. Okay. And then istifadatun. Alhamdulillah. That's it, brothers. That's it. Now let's move forward. Huh? We go to the main lesson. Hmm? What will you do, brothers and sisters? Uh, you will figure out Madi, Mudarya, Amar, Master, Isam Fail, Isam Maful, uh, and then Ismu Zaman and Ismu Makan. Huh? Inshallah, you will be able to do it. Uh, brothers and sisters, the key explains all these things very beautifully. But because it's very simple, I'm not going to the key now. But later on, I will go to the key for different uh, concepts. This lesson is big, very important. And there are some beautiful things that we are learning in this, brothers and sisters. Okay? In this Lesson, brothers and sisters, let me point out to you from the beginning to refresh your mind and memory. Okay, what have you studied so far? Okay, brother, what is in here, brother? An, lang. What else, brother? We are going to learn now. What is it? Kai, kai, and then. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Even. Okay. These two we are going to learn now. Anything else that I am missing? Now, is there anything I am missing here? Yes, I am missing a couple of them. What is it? Sister Maimuna, Lamutalil. Are you with me? I did not write. Why? Because Lamutalil is not Nawasibu Mudariya. When you use Lamu Ta'alin and you make 
uh, the fial mudariya mansub, it is not the la mutalim that is doing that work. It is an mudmara. Uh, are you with me? So therefore, it is the an that is responsible for making fial mudariya mansub, not la mutalim. La mutalim actually is a harf chair. When you bring, when you change master muawal into master, then the lam mutalil will make it majroor. Are you with me? And the same thing will be hatta. So hatta is not nawasibu mudariya. Even though when hatta is used, you have a fail mudariya mansub. But who made that fail mudariya mansub? It's ad mutmira. Are you with me? So it is and that does the job. Fine. We have to understand these in this lesson. We already this did this before and we are going to do this now. So watch for it, brothers and sisters. Watch for it. We have to learn more about Kai. But it will come later on. Very important. We have to understand it. Huh? So, so truly speaking, lesson number 10 is extremely important. Al-Mudarris, brothers and sisters. Udhul ya Zakaria. Translation, brother. Enter, O Zakaria. Ta'akharta kasiran. Ta'akharta kasiran. Brother, you came very late. You came very late. Malladhi huh? akharaka. What is the thing that delayed you? What is the thing which delayed you? Are you, th are you with me, brothers and sisters? What will you say? What is the thing which delayed you? Okay. So, Ta'akhara is form 5 and Akhara is form, form 2. Akhara is form 2, brothers and sisters. Zakaria. Now he's answering, brother. Now Zakaria is answering. Kuntu mutaabban. Mutaabban. I was tired. What is it? I was tired. Kuntu mutaabban. I was tired. What is mutaabban? It is ism maful. What is the verb? At abba. Yut abu. Form, form four. Alhamdulillah. So, kuntu mutaabban, I was tired. Therefore, fastalqaitu. The verb is istalqaitu. So we will say fastalqaitu ala kafaya. So what is the meaning of istalqaitu? I laid down on my back. Kafaya. Kafa means bank, brother. And see how it is written. Kafa. Put ya mutakalam. Because there is an alif, so it gets a fata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fastal kaitu ala kafaya ba das salati after the prayers. Li kai. No brother, li is la mutalil and kai is from the nawasibu mudariya. What is the meaning of li kai? So as. Now here is something else we have to understand. We are going to study in detail, brothers and sisters. Li kai is always together. But sometimes only kai comes. And if kai comes, then li is mahzuf. It is there, but not visible. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? <coughs> li kai will come and kai will come. If kai comes, then li is hidden. And when you have to negate li kai, then li cannot be omitted. Li has to be written. These are the rules we are going to learn, inshallah. Likai, subadar, astariha. 
What is astariha? Fairun mudariun mansubun. Okay, brother. Istaraha yastarihu. So, how many things we are getting from form team? Istal kaitu, istalka, and then astariha mudariya. Pagalabani naumu. What happened? The seal sleep overpowered me. <laughs> sleep conquered me, took control of me. Huh? Okay, fine, brother. In English, we'll say I felt asleep, but here in Arabic, we have pagalabani naumu. Mashallah. Wa mastai kastu. Wa mastai kastu. Which is actually wa ma istai kastu. So what is the verb? Istai kaza. What is the verb? Istai kaza. Very nice verb, brothers and sisters. Istai kaza. Whenever we see a verb, brothers and sisters, from now onwards, you will always look for the root of it. How many letters are there uh, from the root? Uh? If it is fail falasi, then there will be three letters. If it is fail rubai, which we are going to learn in the next lesson, there will be four letters. Uh? So three letters we are going to look into it. What are they? Uh, no. Ya, ya, ka, and za. It is not wow. It is ya, ka, za. Brothers and sisters, istai kaza. To wake up by yourself. It does not need mafulun bihi. But somebody wakes you up. Then we'll have to go to the form four. Go to the form four. Ai kaza. What is it? Ai kaza. Huh? Okay. Ai kaza. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ai kaza. What is the meaning of ai kaza? He woke somebody else. So we will need mafulun bi. Are you with me? We will need mafulun bi. Ai kaza, brother Hassan, change that ai kaza into mudharya. What happened? Then ya changed into wow. Because Dhamma came before it. So Dhamma and ya are not compatible. Are you with me? So the ya changed into wow. You keep it. Are you with me, brother and sister? If you're not careful, you can get easily confused. Huh? But if you have worked hard with your conjugation, you will never, ever uh, get confused. But another nice verb later on, when you study Quran, it will come and it is what is it, brother? Aikana. Mudarya? You can. Mudarya will be Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we move forward. But must I kastu? And I did not wake up. Are you with me? But ma istai kastu? We will read as but must I kastu? I sometimes break it down. Because you are learning, and I want you to, inshallah, understand the verbs very well. Later on, when you will become proficient, then inshallah you will join everything. Inshallah. Illa saata tasiata. Till nine o'clock. And I did not wake up till nine o'clock. After that, brother and sister, so 
And then, Fajat Harfu Atfin. Tawaddatu. What is the meaning of Tawaddatu? I did wudu. Form. Form fire, mashallah. Wa Tawajjahatu. Form fire. Tawajjah means to aim yourself or turn yourself towards something. Okay, brothers and sisters? Or to proceed towards something, you know. Turn towards or proceed towards. Tawajjahatu bisura. Tawajjahatu bisura. Quickly. Ilahuna. Here. Lastahmamtu. Lastahmamtu. Very nice word, brothers and sisters. You do the act of it every day. What is the verb? Istahmamtu. Now, what is the base form? Istahamma. Istahamma. Yastahimmu. Let us conjugate this, brother and sister. Istahamma. Istahamma. Istahammu. Istahammat. Istahammata. Istahmamna. Istahmamna. We break it. Why did you break it, brother? Because mutaharik pronouns came. That is the correct answer. Anything else is roundabout answer. What is the correct answer? Because the mutaharik pronoun came to be the uh, file of the verb. Mutaharik pronoun. Remember, sakin pronouns and mutaharik pronouns, these are the pronouns which come as a file. They are joined as a file and they are always marfu. Of course, file is marfu. And these pronouns are marfu. So you say, istah mamna. And then you carry on. So here it is, brothers and sisters. Lastah mamtu. Wala aftartu. Twice la has come. But then with madi, what do you use mostly? Ma. Why la has come? We will be explained by Dr. Saab. Uh, the simple reason is, that we use twice in quick succession. Uh, when you negate a verb in quick succession, then la can be used. La saddaka wa la sala. And now one has to argue. Why here with madi la has come? Because of the reputation. Uh, Dr. Saib is explaining us later on, inshallah. So what is the meaning of la istahmamtu? I did not take shower. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. Astahimmu kulla sabahim. What is the translation? I take shower every morning. Astahimmu kulla sabahim. Okay. And what is the meaning of Allah after tu? I didn't take breakfast. But aftara, yuftiru. Huh? And what is the master of aftara? Iftar. You are very well <laughs> aware of that iftar. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, Mother is saying, Alam yu kiska zumalauka. Translation, brother. Your colleagues didn't wake you up. See, now here comes form four. Aikaza yu kizu. So, lam yu kiz. Majzum. Ka is. Mafulun bihi. Where is the file? Zumalau. Masha'Allah. Mudaf, mudaf. Alhamdulillah. Excellent, brothers and sisters. You are understanding very beautifully, inshallah. Zakaria. Inna zumalai. Inna zumalai. Ladina yathkununa ma'i. Okay, brothers and sisters. Inna zumalai. So, ismu inna is. Zumala'u. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilihi. What is the lazina? Naat. And what is yaskununa ma'i? Silatul mausul. And where is the khabar of inna? Zahru. Masha'Allah. But then she said, this is the way we analyze. And inshallah, when you 
uh, read the Quran and try to understand sentence by sentence. Our mind will analyze the sentence in this way, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Kulluhum. Zahabu kulluhum. What is kulluhum? Tawheed. Huh? Why it is kullu? Huh? Because it is for the file wow, which is marfu. Huh? al matar listikbali raisihim. Istikbal. What is istikbal? Master. Receive. Receive the president. Huh? Their president. So what will be the translation? Indeed, my colleagues who are who live with me went, all of them, all of them went to the airport to receive their president. Fine, brothers. La Basa. What is the meaning of La Basa? La Nafia to Liljins. There's no problem. It's okay. Everything is fine. No problem. Ikra al Hadith, Ya Marwan. Read the Hadith, O Marwan. And Abi Zarrin Anin Nabi. Now, I have to explain you this a little bit, brothers and sisters. Whenever you see a hadith being written like this, how is it written, Sister Afza? Fima Ruviya Anillah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And Abi Zarrin Anin Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Fima Ruviya Anillah. It means. Then it is Hadith Qudsi. It is Hadith Qudsi. Tabaraka. What is Tabaraka? Form 6. What is Ta'ala? Form 6. Annahu Kala. What is who there? Who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah has said. Innahu Kala means Allah has said. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ya ibadi. Ya ibadi. Huh? Oh my sir, slaves. Huh? Oh my slaves. Inni haramtu zulma ala nafsi. Indeed, I have forbidden zulm on myself. Allah is never zalim. He's always kind and just, brothers and sisters. Huh? I have forbidden myself to be oppressor or zalim. Okay, brothers and sisters. Wajal tuhu bainakum muharraman. What is this muharraman, brothers and sisters? It's a maful. From where? Harrama. You harrim. From two. All these things should come to us quickly, inshallah. Huh? Okay.